Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look at Provia in the window. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so let's start from the style first. And right here we have the interior look of the window. So when we get closer to the window, that's how it looks from the inside. And right, right off the bat, we can see that we have two locks and there is no side locks like in other vinyl windows. Uh, the system that we have in this window is called lock and tilt system and bear with me till the end of the video and I'm gonna show you how to actually tilt in both sashes for easy cleaning. And one more thing about these locks, they come in a different huge choice of different colors, I believe for about uh, five or so, as well as the frame and um, the frame of the sash and the main frame of the window is gonna come in uh, different laminates and colors available. We do have balance here, like in all other windows of uh, by Provia. Uh, then we have night latches as well, or vent latches, or uh, whatever way you wanna call them. So they do what they do, basically you can open the window a couple of inches at the bottom, or you can do the same at the top. Okay, once you don't need them, you just pull them in, just like that. Then uh, the grid inside the glass, this one here that goes between uh, the glass, two glass panes and uh, inside the uh, insulated unit. We do have here, like in all other Provia series windows, this uh, bottom sash uh, stops, which um, I don't like them. They kind of remind me of all the mistakes that I made in my life when you look at them. But um, if you have the blinds, right here at the top of the window, so probably you can live with it. Once we lower the sash, the top sash has this all the way through lift rail, as well as the bottom, pretty much the same like uh, the other window series by Provia have it. When we look at the window cut here, so right, right away we can see that uh, the total thickness of the sash and the frame of the window is much bigger than in other series by Provia. So here we go, we got three, about three and a quarter, three and a half inches actually uh, combined uh, thickness of the sash and the frame. So this window is definitely, uh, is much beefier than the other ones. So, and because of that uh, thickness, I would not definitely recommend this windows to install into the, the house where you have like a smaller windows, because when you install this window, then your windows are gonna get even smaller, your glass real estate is gonna decrease substantially. Okay, here we go, let's have one more look for the interior of the window. That's how it looks from the top to the bottom. And uh, on the side, if you wanna see the side look, how your future window is gonna look like if you are considering doing them. And now let's go ahead and look at the exterior of the window. Okay, here we go, so that's how your window is gonna look on the outside from the top to the bottom again. So every window standard comes with a half screen and the screen is um, extruded aluminum screen. So it's not a rolled form. So it's pretty much strong screen. If you prefer to have uh, that one in your house, here you go, you can get it. And um, so the screen doesn't lock at the bottom. I believe that's optional feature, but let's say if you wanna open the top section of the window, sticks out a little bit, but here you go, you can uh, get all the way to the top and now you can open the top sash. Once you're done, let's see here, let me just move it down. Once again, I'm not a big fan of this uh, huge uh, bulky uh, screen channels that stick out so much from the frame. So let's see how uh, far away is it sticking out. So it's about one and a quarter away from the main window frame. Okay, so we are done at looking at the style of this window and uh, in the comments below, please post your thoughts and ideas about the inside, how it looks uh, from the inside and outside and would you like to have these windows in your house? Okay, so right now let's have a look at the ease of use of this window. So to open the window, you just uh, open these two locks like that. Here we go, and it's open. And to tilt in the window, there are no tilting locks on the sides as we noticed right off the bat. So to do that, we just have to squeeze these locks like that. And now we tilt in the bottom sash. So, and right off the bat, when you look at it here, you see that we have uh, 
black and tackle system which is not a constant force system but uh, it's much easier to operate and maintenance free so um, to remove the sash in this window here I'm gonna push it back right here like this let's see so to remove it, it it's a breeze so basically we do it like that it's supposed to be a breeze okay so let's go ahead now and check out the energy efficiency of this window Okay, so first thing that we're gonna look at that for the water stripping, how much, how well insulated this window is. For that, we're gonna tilt in the bottom sash, and let's do the same with the top sash. Okay, so on both sashes we have triple weather stripping. That's one, two, three, which is uh, definitely it's a great feature. Same thing with the bottom sash. Then at the top we have that the top sash here. There is a weather stripping right here then a little air pocket when you when we lock it when you lock the window it interlocks with the top of frame of the window okay so that in here at the bottom sash so we see we have this air stops as well on each corner that's uh pretty much most of the time where the air goes in or goes out of the house same thing triple weather stripping here as well Okay, so when you look um, from the outside at the window and the bottom sash is tilted in, so we have here the flexible air bulb, which is nice. It's not made of rubber, but it's flexible material like uh, all of the doors, entry doors have it. Then in here we have air pocket with uh, this little air lip that goes into this sash and interlocks, prevents all the air leaks, water leaks and insects from getting crawling inside the house through this bottom sash like that and again it would be nice that it was all the way through but uh, for some reason it's only in the middle then we have uh, cutouts here instead of the whip holes that's uh, another nice feature which is definitely doesn't add to the energy efficiency but still it's nice to have it instead of the whip holes that usually clock with spider web and dirt and then all the water gets inside the window uh, but in here, all the water drains on that sloped seal. When you look at the glass, it looks kind of tinted, kind of like sunglasses. So the glass has a slow E coating and ergon gas between the two glass panes. So you can tell when you look at it, even on the camera, you can say that it's uh, pretty much uh, nicely tinted. When you look at the window corner cut, so we see that it does have like the aspect uh, series uh, Provia window. It has this flexible spacer between the two glass panes. So it means it's not gonna expand and contract too much and as a seal there is high chance that the seal is gonna stay intact and it's not gonna be broken so you're not gonna have any moisture between the two glass panes. Okay so all in all I think that's pretty much good window. It's energy efficient, easy to use, uh, it has this nice beautiful system tilt and lock um, for easy cleaning so and plus a nice and clean design. So I think it's it's pretty much can be a good choice for to install into your house and I would definitely recommend it. I mean the only downside is that the channel on the outside that uh, extends a little bit too much and those bottom sash uh, stops at the top of the interior of the window they kind of look funky as well but uh, other than that this uh, window looks like it's a highly energy efficient and durable one. And put down in your comments what do you think about this window, would you install it into your house and uh, how do you like it or maybe you don't like it. Either way, appreciate you watching and see you next time.